Hello and welcome to the session on circles. This is brought to you by Handaka Funda. Let us look at a few fundas for the circle. Say, I am given a circle which has a radius of r units. Its area will be pi r square and its circumference is 2 pi r. But that's something you already knew. There are a few other points to note. Say, from the center of the circle O, I drop a perpendicular to a chord. The chord is AB. A chord is a straight line which joins any two points on the circumference. If I know that OP is perpendicular to AB, then it will bisect the chord or AP will be equal to PB. It is true the other way around as well. That is, if I am given P is the midpoint of a chord and I join it with the center, then it will be perpendicular. OP will be perpendicular to the chord AB. If I am given that the distance of two chords is same from the center, that is, OP is the distance to the chord AB and OQ is the distance to the chord CD. If I am given that they are equal, then the chords will be equal in length. If I am given that the chords are equal in length, then the distances will be equal. It is true both ways. Another point to note is that the chord AB, if it subtends theta at any point on the circumference, it will subtend the same angle at all other points. As you can see, say this is L. At L, it subtends theta. At M, it subtends theta. I take any other point, let's say N, it will also subtend theta at any point on the circumference. Not only that, at the center, if a chord subtends theta at the circumference, at the center it will subtend 2 theta. Then another point is the tangents. From an external point P, I can draw two tangents. A tangent is a line which just touches the circle. Both the tangents are always, always equal in length. Another point to note is that the radius and the tangent, they are always at right angles. A few other rules are that if PT is my tangent and PT is the length of my tangent, PAB is a second because it is cutting the circle at two points A and B. PCD is also a second which is cutting it at two points C and D. From one particular point, I can draw two tangents. Let's say PT and the other one will be somewhere here, PT dash. But I can draw in finite many seconds. And for the length of the second, there is a rule which exists. That is PT square square of the length of the tangent will be equal to PA into PB that will be equal to PC that will be equal to say I had another tangent PEF that would have been equal to PE into PF that always remains a constant. Now if I hear the seconds were intersecting at a point outside the circle it is possible that the seconds A and B and C and D they intersect at a point inside the circle. Then also the rule PA into PB is equal to PC into PD that still stands. Say in a circle AB is the diameter. Please remember that a diameter always subtends 90 degree on the circumference. If uh, say I am given a quadrilateral PAQB then its opposite angles are always always supplementary. That means if one is theta another one will be 180 minus theta. Another idea is the idea of a sector. OAB or the entire portion this can be considered as a sector. Area of the sector is given by theta by 360 into pi r square. The portion which lies between the chord AB and the arc AB which I have kind of done dense shading here. That is known as the segment or the minor segment AB. Area for that is given by area of the sector which we already know theta by 360 into pi r square. Minus the area of the triangle OAB. How do I get that? Both the radii are, are the angle is theta. For a triangle, if I know two sides A and B and the angle theta, the area is given by half AB sin theta. So this becomes half R square sin theta. Now let's look at this case. PAB is a second, PCD is a second, and I am asked for the angle at P, and let's say that is theta. That will be given by half of measure of the arc BD minus measure of the arc AC. What is the measure of the arc? Measure of the arc is whatever angle that the arc subtends at the center. So if the arc BD subtends alpha at the center and this subtends beta at the center, then my answer for theta will be alpha minus beta by 2. Obviously, 
a bigger arc will sustain the bigger angle. Not only that, if two arcs are equal in length, then they sustain equal angles at the center. Stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to continue the discussion on circles.